So you're all excited about the Fujifilm X-T4 coming out, and I believe that you should be. It's rumored to have some pretty good specs, but I want to talk today about why we shouldn't completely count the X-T3 out. First, I'm going to show you guys a sweet little coffee shop here in my hometown called The Barrel. If you're in Greenville, Tennessee and passing through, stop by and give them some business. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Alright guys, so like we talked, the Fuji X-T4 is rumored to have some pretty good specs. It's rumored to have the 6K at 60 FPS, it's going to have IBIS, a better battery, a better EVF, a little bit bigger body that's easier to hold on to, and all that's fine and dandy, but I want to remind you how great the X-T3 has been to me and why I believe that it's going to be a great option still with the X-T4 out. Number one, the reason I believe that we shouldn't completely desert the X-T3 is the fact that this thing is still shooting 4K 10-bit internally, which whenever it came out was un heard of for a body this small. Guys, the 4K coming out of this is beautiful. I've used it not very often because my machine can't edit it very well, but whenever I have, it's delivered results. The colors are great, and, th and that's one thing that Fuji is going to continue to do even with the X-T4s. They're going to have good colors. The second reason I believe that we shouldn't completely desert the X-T3 is even though it doesn't have IBIS, which the X-T4 is supposedly going to have, we still have the OIS of the lenses from Fuji, which are great. Um, this 18-55, for example, I have never shot a piece of footage with this and been like man that is so shaky that I can't use it it's usually really good about smoothing out some shakes that I've had and most of the time I'm on a glide cam too if I am handheld I'm really just watching the way that I use the camera make sure that I'm not getting too shaky with it and really the third and final reason why I believe that we shouldn't completely desert the X-T3 is price I think the X-T4 will come in at around two thousand dollars for the body now is that super duper expensive in today's camera world no I think that's a good price for all the specs that it's gonna have if it has those however what I saw on Black Friday of 2019 was the X-T3 body alone got down to about $1,300 US dollars. $1,300 is an absolute steal for this camera. I know whenever I bought it new, the body alone was about $1,600 US dollars, which was still a great deal. However, I think that with the X-T4 coming out and it going to be around the $2,000 mark, it's going to drive the price of the X-T3 down to probably about the $1,000 mark. And if we consider all the specs that the X-T3 still does have, it has the 4K 10-bit internal, it goes 4 422 whenever you shoot it out to a recorder it does have stabilized lenses it has a pretty good battery life and the EVF on it I don't think ever lacked I really didn't know that an upgraded EVF was in order for the X-T4 because the one on the X-T3 is great now the elephant in the room and probably the difference maker for a lot of people is whether or not the X-T4 will have the rumored tilty flippy screen after shooting on the EOS R for a while now I have missed having that from Canon I can look at my composition right there see what all is going on with exposure and everything I don't have to have the monitor up top which we talked about about that however if it does not have the tilty flippy screen I think that that would be the decision maker for me and also should help you as well would you rather spend two thousand dollars for 6k that you're probably not going to be able to use or would you rather spend a thousand dollars for a monster camera and guys that's my opinion on things I'm still in love with the X-T3 I don't get all googly eyed about the X-T4 because I know what this thing can do it is a monster still to this day so I just wanted to weigh in and maybe help you guys make a decision as well do I think that you should completely desert the X-T3 no. With that being said, though, you guys have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you in the next one.